So we're going to do a straight bar takeover. So um, Chemo's was a, uh, was a traditional uh, queer bar uh, and trans bar. There was lots of diversity there. And they had shows upstairs. And, and it, was, mm -hmm. it was it closed down um, and was taken over by a, a regular straight bar. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, my uh, emotional reaction was, you know, fuck that, whatever. Sure. But again, you know, thinking about it from their perspective, they may not even be aware right. of what's going on. You know, the owners may not even have any idea. It's just to them, it's another investment. It's another, it's a blind investment. They may not even see Mm -hmm. What's happening? It's like the stock market allows you to invest in an oil company without even realizing it. Right. Because you have mutual funds and you complain about oil companies. Wait a minute, don't you own the oil company? You know, that kind of thing. Right. So, so it's like they, they don't really know. So, so the idea there is, is, to, is to make a statement, to go in there and say, hey, wait a minute, chemos, this, this place was classic and it just disappeared. Yeah. You know? Um, and I understand why. I knew, I knew the owner of, of, of Merlena's, which closed down, and she, she, was, she was getting older and she wanted to sell out and make money and retire. Sure. Who could blame her? And, and the owners of Chemos, I think it was a similar kind of thing. So again, I don't blame them. But to me, it was like raise the awareness. It's, I'm, not, I'm not angry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel frustrated, but who, there's nobody to be angry at. No. That's the problem with going on in most of our world. Politicians are all in the take. We all know that. Right. You know, the corporate money governs everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. So the, mar the key thing about this kind of march is, yeah, we're upset and everything, but we want to march with the values that are most important to us, mm -hmm. with joy of sharing who we, who everybody is. Because once it goes away, it's not coming back. Yeah. You know, the one thing, even though I don't feel a, I don't know a lot about the Polk Street history, I don't know mm -hmm. a lot about gay history in San Francisco, I do benefit from it and I do really appreciate it. Right. You know, this took years to develop and it could be wiped out by Twitter and Facebook and technology mm -hmm. money like that.